Thank you for the visit. Yeah, I um, I just got your email. So what happened? What's going on? The investigator for the state went to Florida, talked to the witness, came back and got COVID. So he has not written the reports yet, or they have not received them because he has COVID. You know, I don't know anything more than that, but at least it's progress. Yeah, yeah. You know why? I'm glad to hear that from you because you know I thought they were they just went in there and did nothing. You know, so I don't mind waiting as long as it's progress. So my guest today is JC, aka Jose Cruz. Thank you for being on the show. Ah, I'm just nothing but honored to be here with you. You know, after uh, so many meetings we have through uh, video visit while I was still incarcerated, so. Yeah, I've been, we've been knowing each other for, for a few years now, at least. I, yes. I don't even remember how we met, but we right. talked for years when you were uh, incarcerated. Yes, I, I don't really remember how it happened, but I know that it happened and I was delighted to uh, share with you my story, you know, and I'm happy to be here with you right now. Likewise. At a car wash, yay. Yeah, we've been, so we've been, Filming since you were exonerated and released uh, this summer of 2022, yes. and uh, this was a big week because I saw you on the cover of the Chicago Tribune. Uh oh, you're talking about this Tribune page? That Tribune right there. Uh -oh. We might have to show it again when the lights pop on. Yes. And I said to myself, I would recognize the back of that head anywhere. That's JC. <laughs> That's yeah. Oh, here come the lights. That's JC. Here, make it go closer. Being hugged by the state's attorney, Kim Fox. Crying on my shoulder, and I was crying on her shoulders too, but you couldn't see it, and I'm glad that they didn't show that part. Tell me about, tell me about how did you meet Kim Fox? When was the first time? Uh, I personally met Kim Fox on um, June 15 when she came for the graduation at uh, at Stavia Correctional Center. And uh, I approached her, and at first she was a little hesitant to talk to me. She wanted me to talk to her assistant, but I insisted it. And um, I told her my name. I said that I was a victim of Renato Guevara. And she was like, oh, what's your name? So I said, my name is Jose Cruz. And she said, oh, um, just yesterday we had a meeting about you. And um, which blew my mind. She like, you coming home. You're coming home soon. And that was right there was like, I broke down even to this day every time I, I tell that story. It just, it cheered me up because it's, it was amazing for, you know, you hearing it from the top state's attorney. Never happens, never ever happens. Never happens. Could you imagine in, in over 29 years that that day would happen where the state's attorney of Cook County would herself come and say, you're coming home. Right, never. That's amazing. I, I, I could have never imagined anything like that happening. There's more to this story. We're going to have to do a part two. Yes. Let's do it.